Hi everyone, we're from Positive Futures Northwest, which is a mental health and wellbeing charity based in Lancaster. Uh, I'm a student social worker um, on placement at Positive Futures, and I'm just going to ask my colleague Janet a few questions to understand her perspective a little bit, as she is a parent with a child that has a disability. Um, so I'm going to hand over to Janet just to introduce herself quickly. Hi, I'm Janet. Uh, I work at a Positive Futures in Lancaster. Uh, and I'm a parent of uh, a young man who has autism and I've been invited to take part in this little questionnaire that, that we're doing today. Wow. All right, so I'll just jump into the first question. So firstly, how do you feel about having a disabled child has impacted on your mental health? Yeah. Um, it varies from day to day. Uh, when he was younger, it was a lot more difficult. Uh, some days were quite bleak and scary. And now and then we'd get a breakthrough and it didn't seem that things were quite so bad. It didn't level it up, but it certainly helped when we had a, a good day or a breakthrough. Okay. And have you sought any support for your mental health? And if so, what support? Yes, I have uh, sought support for mental health, for my own mental health. Uh, it's quite a few years ago, probably about eight years ago. Um, talking to a health visitor and um, I became part of a carers association. He pointed me in the direction of Positive Futures, which Jess has mentioned before, is a mental health and wellbeing charity. Um, I joined basically, I was looking for a little bit of me back, felt like I'd lost my identity a little bit, I'd lost a lot of confidence. Um, so I uh, actually started on a course called Looking Forward to the Future, which is a personal development course and went on to another course after that and then eventually started volunteering. And it helped me an awful lot. It helped me get my confidence back, which I knew was always there, but it just kind of got lost in, you know, in everything that was going on. Um, it was more to do with the transition from children's services to adult services, where I'd kind of learned to let go a little bit uh, and put my trust in other people. Uh, but yeah, I did find that doing that, that course especially did help me greatly with my mental health. And that was a course with Positive Futures, right? It was, yeah, yeah. And, and have you joined any support groups? Um, yeah, the, the ones that I did, did do uh, originally, sorry, uh, it was to build my confidence and self-esteem via group sessions, but also as I kind of found my feet a little bit, there were, I found that there was a lot of... Um, more social social groups, not as courses as social groups. So you could meet people, have a coffee, have a chat, uh, maybe join a singing group, maybe join a knitting group, maybe join a creative writing group, lots and lots of different things. And just gradually just building, getting back into the world again, um, obviously because my son was at school then and I did have a little bit of free time. Mm -hmm. uh, I found these really helpful, very supportive. Uh, meeting new friends as well, which was important. So yeah, yeah, it helped a lot. Fantastic. And what was your life slash your mental health like before you had support in place? Right, before I had support, I found it really difficult because I was trying to hold down a part-time job as well. Uh, and it felt like I was trying to swim through syrup. Um, I was always tired, always lacking motivation. I found it, I found it difficult to access any help that was available for him uh, and deal with his educational needs and services, uh, including benefits uh, that were available at the time. Uh, you know, even to the extent of getting um, a statement for his educational needs, I found it a bit of a battle, but you know we got through so yeah it was hard it was hard mm -hmm. but it wasn't all doom and gloom mm -hmm. OK 
Okay, and then last question. Do you have any suggestions for managing mental health for parents who are experiencing something similar? And what is one thing that you want a parent of a disabled child to know? Yeah, uh, it can be difficult being the parent of a disabled child. Uh, I would say don't be frightened to ask lots of questions around your child's condition. Uh, be, be prepared to fight hard for the rights of your child because in my circumstance, I was his voice uh, and some of the things that you need to go through aren't easy. Uh, accept any professional advice you're given and make your own decisions on whether you act on it. At the time, I just took everything I could get and decided which, which was the way to go forward. Mm -hmm. uh, and consider offers of support from family and friends and services even though it might be a little bit difficult to to do that um yeah it's one of those things if, if, you, if you can accept support then you know I would recommend that uh, the one thing that I would like to say to any any parent of uh, a disabled child uh, just remember that you know your child and their needs best and at some point, even though it's difficult, you need to start to put your trust in others, whether that's services, whether it's schooling, medical, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and it's not easy because it's your child and you, you don't want to let them go, you know, into that big bad world. But yeah, yeah, try, try and put a bit of trust in people as well. And obviously, as you get that trust, then it builds more and more. But yeah, so that's it. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Jana, and that's okay. really excellent advice. Uh, thank you for answering my questions and thank you to everyone for listening. Thank you.